What's going on, everybody? Thursday evening. I promised you guys a barbecue rub reveal at 50 retweets. We got like 26, so try a little harder. Come on, guys. There's like 800 cheapies now. What do we got today? We got Akai Blueberry Pomegranate. That's good vitamin water. That's delicious. Um, what do we got for you? Barbecue rub reveal. What do we got here? 20 something. I got more. Lots of them are in a barbecue trailer. So me and my barbecue teammate, Evan, we have a custom fitted barbecue trailer. 16 foot enclosed cargo trailer. All fitted out. It's in winter storage right now. There's a bunch of stuff in there. I wasn't about to go drive out to go get it. So this is kind of what I got in my cupboard in the garage. I also got an extra little surprise. Don't know which one I want to do first. Let's do this one first. We got an unboxing. We have got a Powden. Nakiri knife. So a Nakiri is a cleaver, but it's not a meat cleaver, it's a veggie cleaver. Um, Powden is a, uh, there's Chinese writing on the box. It says made in China. Brand Powden. It's a long box. I don't think the knife is anything close to this long. But let's see, let's open it up, see what we got. Classic cellophane. How you know we're classy and then how do we open this bad boy Ooh, that's a hinge lid nice so what we got there we got ourselves a little warranty card if you don't order anything from amazon it came from china chances are you start seeing these little cards is happy not happy support we can call we've got a ooh, all their other knives that they offer so we have oh, it doesn't show it on it features German steel 56 plus degree hardness that sounds pretty good we got a foam spacer, it looks like. Here's the knife. It's a weighty knife. Let's slide it out. So it comes with some protectors to protect the corners. A full blade protector would have been nicer, but you get what you get, you don't get upset. Pick those off. What do you got here? A wooden handle. Got the logo on the back. I said it wasn't going to be near anything as long as the box, but that's not bad, eh? That's not bad. It's tough. Buy knives sight unseen without holding it. You're just kind of guessing. This one's all right. It's not bad sharpness. It's a decent weight. Puppy's running around my feet, so if you hear anything funny or weird, it's just puppy. I got a new puppy. Got him for Christmas. He's alright. He's a puppy. The Damascus steel. That's where you beat the shit out of the blade. Get all those layers. I don't know if it's better or worse. It's not a Japanese sword. I don't know. Whatever. It is what it is. Yeah. That's a blade. I know. Hopefully by next week, we will have a another unboxing. A mystery cheapy is sending me some barbecue or some hot sauce after last week's sauce. He said, "Have you tried this?" I said, "No, I haven't." It costs a shitload to try get it up into Canada. He said, "I'll send you some." I said. You don't have to, but absolutely thank you. 
Now let's get into barbecue rubs. Not all barbecue rubs, mostly barbecue rubs. Um, same thing as last time. We'll just kind of do them in groups and some got stories, some don't. First two, we'll start off with Cosmo Q. We got some wing dusts. Buffalo hot, Nashville hot chicken. So they got like a dozen, I think now, different flavors in their wing dust lineup. Chili lime, I think. I know they got Nashville hot and Buffalo hot, but they got like Buffalo mild and I like stuff hot, so I said whatever, stupid not to. And so unlike kind of a traditional rub where you put it on before you cook, you put this on after. So you cook them up naked and then you dust them afterwards. They work. I like them. But they're not stupendous, outrageous by any means, but they're worth what I paid for. And they do the job I asked for. Let's see what else we got. I know I have... Sorry, I'm just going through. Here's another. This is Owen's Barbecue Buffalo Wing Dust. This is a traditional where you put it on before and then cook it. So this was given to me. I don't know if I've actually used it yet. I don't think I have. Probably gonna have to use it this weekend then. That's Owen's Barbecue. So these guys are out of, I believe, Montana. Sorry if I'm wrong. They compete in barbecue. I met them a couple years ago at a competition just outside of Regina. Super nice people. We ordered a couple different things from them. You know, barbecue teammate. So that's all right. What else we got? We got this guy. Does he got a partner and story? Oh yeah. So we got some Cabela's. Y'all got Cabela's down there? I think you guys got Cabela's in the States. Cabela's, who bought Cabela's? Who's got those green hats all the teenage kids wear? Can't remember. Cabela's, we got beer can chicken and whiskey steak seasoning. So, our competition barbecue team is, competes mold, mainly in KCBS competitions. Kansas City Barbecue Society. And they do a thing every year with all the Cabela's and whatever the store is that owns Cabela's. So every Cabela's has like a barbecue demo day where a local competition barbecue team goes and cooks up a bunch of stuff and Cabela's gives them stuff and you demo stuff and show them, hey, this is barbecue and this is how it works and you can go inside and buy all this crap. So that's why we got some Cabela's stuff. The beer can chicken stuff is okay. I don't like alcohol. So the whiskey steak, I don't love. Plus, even if I did like it, I have better steak rubs. So even if I did like whiskey, I don't think I'd be using this one as much. But they're not bad, and we got them for free. So that's all right. Where are we going to go on to next? Probably go on to this guy. Actually, we'll do this guy, because he should have went with the other one. Cosmos Q Honey Chipotle Killer Bee. Good on everything. It's, this one's actually really good. Small batch barbecue rubs blended for quality and not quantity. That's their words, not mine. All I know is they're really good. So that one's a good one. What else we got? We got these bad boys. So these ones were given to me from a friend. And they're really good. I got Blues Hogs. So Blues Hogs, one of the like OG competition barbecue rub and sauces. Their sauces are still like, everyone uses them. So the guy who made Blues Hogs, he sold out to another company. And uh, yeah, so we got the original, Red Label, and Bold and Beefy. Bold and beefy. Yeah, hear that? That's being loud. Bold and beefy. Still wrapped up, haven't used it yet. Blue Hogs, original. Have used it. Not a lot. 
use this on chicken. It feels really good on chicken. Where are we going next? Might as well go back to World Food Championships, Dallas, Texas. And our friends at Old Hickory. We got Cockadoodle Dooster. Hey. Shh. Puppy, eh? Found the cellophane from the knife. Yeah, take that over there. Cockadoodle Dooster. Tastes a lot like chicken stock. Haven't used much of it. They're all beef. It's decent. It's good. But here's their one. Hold on a second. Eh? That's too loud. Pepperall. Old hickory pepperall. This is amazing. Asparagus. Brussels sprouts and steak. I guess potatoes too. I've done it on like potato wedges and stuff like that. Also, unreal good. Oh, hickory pits, pepper all. Unreal good. Oh, what's next? I got one company that I have like 20 things from, so I'm saving those for the end. This Oak Ridge Barbecue. Signature Edition Black Ops Brisket Rub. The taste, so we bought it for Competition Barbecue. The taste is bang on, but I don't like the color. So we don't use it that often. And we have another brisket rub system where we kind of layer three or four different ones that works for us. But this is really good, just at home briskets. Don't love for competition just because of color. Prairie Smoke and Spice, they show up again. They were in the sauce video. Um, local guys, national barbecue champions. That's uh, Canada. Sorry, puppy again. National Barbecue Champions of Canada a couple times. Super awesome people. Always help us out when we're doing stuff. Free swag. Raise money for stuff. Prairie Smoke of Spice. Top, top of the line people. Now we got Simply Marvelous. Simply Marvelous. Um, what's the guy's name? Stefan? Stefan. He's got a bunch. They're good. Spicy apple. That's a good time. Pecan. That's a good time. I had like eight or nine of his. And uh, a lot of them were really good. I just didn't re-up because I have so many. Um, I'm trying to remember what else he's got that's really good. And then Popitude, a finishing rub. So typically when you're trying to get like that amazing flavor you want layers of flavor rather than one one hit and then it's kind of over so finishing rub you put your rub on you cook something maybe you sauce it glaze it whatever and then you just sprinkle a little finishing rub so that's a finishing rub I haven't used that one that much but that's okay and then we got Big Papa Smokers. It's so Big Papa Smokers out of California. Can't remember where. Um, the owner of Big Papa Smokers, Sterling Ball, owns a guitar company. Can't remember which one. Did a bunch of cool stuff. Sorry, dog again. So we got Cash Cow. It's a beef rub. Really good. Once again, don't love the color. I like that dark, dark beef. 
Lil Louis seasoned garlic salt. It's really good. You can tell. I'm just oiled out of that one. Desert gold seasoning. That one's good. Sweet money. Champion chipper up. So this is the one of his that I use the most. So we use this one in our competition ribs and chicken. So we go through shakers and shakers of this every summer. That's probably their highlight. They also have a money one, which I think they made first, and then they made sweet money after, which is like a step up. It's just a better product. And then Big Pop Smokers Double Secret Steak Rub. Winner of 2012 American Royal Invitational. Sounds really good too. Um, but it gets to be one of the, one of the, uh, it gets to be at the point where, like, how many did we just go through there? Six, ten, twenty-three. There's too many. I own too many. It's a problem because they're never gonna use that, right? Like, even these little blues hogs guys in the old hickory. Like, I'm just not going to use this much in a year. And after a year, I need to re-up it because I don't want stale stuff. So it's just kind of a bummer, right? There's so much more out there I'd love to try. But I can't eat barbecue rub stuff every night. I just can't. So. This dog. This will not stop with any everything loud. Is that too loud for you guys? Because I can't tell. He's just digging away. All the loud stuff. None of the quiet stuff. Take a sip of the vitamin water. So there's new cheapies. So welcome if you're a new cheapie. I'm Kent, Ken Han at Ken Hansen on Twitter. Um, not an OG cheapy, but I was in the first 300. I don't remember what name I, number I was. But uh, yeah, welcome everyone who's new. Appreciate you being here. About every week. I got a podcast, Dish Up Podcast. Um, I kind of don't always just gear that directly to the cheapies, but these Thursday night vids, I kind of... You know, this is this is for the cheapies. You know, help you guys. If anyone's got questions, toss them out there. Cubs fan three seven one two. We were messaging back and forth this past week. He's asking me, "Hey, all I got is my military knife. I need something else. What should I get?" So I went back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So I figured at the end of this video, I just show some knives. Show you what I'm working with. Give you some suggestions. I know we talked about this on one of the early podcasts, but no visies. Uh, now we got visuals. So first off, chef's knife. So this is a chef's knife. This is a Victrinox. So this is a 10-incher. Um, this one, thin blade. I don't know if you can tell. Thin blade. Real light. It's good if you're doing like soft stuff and a lot of it. Onions, peppers, celery, mirepoix. You just make a lot of something that's real light or real soft. Perfect knife for that. Or carving a turkey, but white meat, not bone. Thin blade, chip easy, dull easily. Uh, here's one of my favorite chef's knives. The big heavy duty guy. This guy probably weighs four times as much as the last knife. And it's quite a bit shorter. It's quite a bit shorter now because I dropped it on the tile floor in our last house and broke the tip off. But I still love the knife, so I keep on using it. Nice weighty handle. This is breaking down a full chicken into parts. Um... Trimming up a, a roast with lots of fat stuff in it. Perfect knife for that. And then we're going into this one. It's a hankle. So I first started competition barbecue. 
they sell these uh, Hankel uh, bush dressing for like hunting bush dressing sets and they got this guy in it. I can't, I don't know what it's called, cleaver? Something, it's got that shape. But yeah, this is for, for dressing. So heavy duty stuff, right? This is a nice light one because it's supposed to carry it out into the field. Sorry, puppy here. Bright handle, so if you drop it in the snow or in the bush, you can find it easily, you don't step on it. I like these ones because we can just beat the shit out of them. Hundred dollars, I think we paid for a set. It's got like four knives, honing rod, and they're just there to get beat up. That's what they're for. They sharpen really well, but they don't hold it for a long time. But they're there to get beat up. That's why I like these guys. Next up, we're going to serrated blade. So serrated blades, awesome for things like this is all. Also a Henkel, sorry, I got distracted. Um, bread, obviously, cutting bread. Um, but also, like, cutting roasts. You can cut a roast with a serrated knife. Um, tomatoes, if you're doing a lot of tomatoes, a knife like this is really good. Um, this is also good. I got a little tiny serrated guy. I think this is technically classified as a steak knife, but it's a Wustroff. Wustroff? But perfect serrated blades, perfect for cutting tomatoes. Um, this one, when we went to Dallas for World Food Championships, barbecue division last year, everyone got a welcome bag. So me, my son, and my wife went, and each one had one of these guys in it. I think they're, they're not expensive, they're like five bucks each. But yeah, so we got three of these. So yeah, they're perfect little steak knives, cutting soft veggies and fruit. So this guy's really good for. Also, if you got one bun. And the last, but not least, kitchen shears. So this is a beater set that we have. Kitchen shears. I think are absolute must. After a good chef's knife, your kitchen shears are, you gotta have them. And they can't be the same craft scissors that your wife uses for cutting the kid's hair during quarantine. You have to have kitchen shears only for the kitchen because you're gonna cut the backbones out of chickens for spatchcock. Um, some people use them for cutting pizza. I've seen that, I don't know why, but I've seen people do that. Um, I use them for trimming chicken thighs. Um, when you do competition chicken thighs like I do, you realize how much fat is in chicken thighs. You don't want to eat all that fat. Um, I strip them, use these to get in there, get all the gross bits out, wrap the skin back around it. Yeah, kitchen shears, the absolute must. Yeah, so, and then this bad boy, which I picked up today. Big unveiling with you guys today. Veggie cleaver. So I'm going to give this a run through. See how it goes. And obviously something like this. All knives, you should hand wash them. You shouldn't put them through the dishwasher. But something like this, for sure hand wash. For sure. Some of these other ones, they might sneak into the dishwasher if I'm not the one who's doing dishes or something. But something like that, nah. Dishwasher every time. Well, that's it for this. Thanks for hanging out with me. That was fun. Um, hop on the Twitter at Ken Hansen. I'm sure we'll talk throughout the weekend next week. Let me know what you guys would like to see next week. Um, I think this was my idea. Oh, here. Let's do puppy reveal. Shadow, come this way. Come this way. Nope, this way, this way. Come on, come on. Let's go, let's go. Let's show the people who you are. It's a poppy reveal. Say hi, Shadow. Look at, look at all the people. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah.
That shadow. He was the one making all the noise. He says, sorry about all the noise. Yeah. Toss on Twitter. Say, hey, talk about this next week. Talk about that next week. Reveal this. I'm going to have to do a singing reveal. But then again, maybe not. All right. Thanks for watching.